What's up, Technova here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Pure Punish. Pure Punish is a simple but powerful add-on plugin that works on top of punishment plugins like light bands and is easy to set up and use. Its main goal is to make interaction with punishment plugins easier. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Search for Pure Punish. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from this bigger page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. This plugin also requires an actual punishment managing plugin to work. This is just an easy layer between punishment plugins and the admins. For this demonstration, I'll be using Advanced Ban. To see what plugins you already have installed, visit the Install tab under Plugins. This punishment plugin works mainly off preset reasons, which makes life easier for admins. Before we look at some basic functionality, we need to input MySQL server details into the plugin's config for a working punishment history. Because this isn't exactly required, I'll be going through it in the config section of this video. Using slash punish, followed by a player's name, a reason, severity, and optionally some more info, we can issue punishments. The severity determines how long a player will be punished for. Autocomplete is available, so we can see the options that are there, but we can also use slash p reasons or slash punish reasons to view a list of all punishment reasons available on the server. To exempt someone from receiving a punishment, we can simply use slash punish exempt add followed by a player's name. We can also swap out add for list or remove to show a list of players who are exempt from punishments or possibly remove them from this list. To check if someone is a repeat offender, we can use slash punish history or slash p history followed by the player's name to check their punishment history. Currently, there are no punishments for the other account on the server. Let's change that. For example, earlier they were advertising their server. I'll run slash punish Vicky advertising mild followed by a reason, so say advertising their SMP server. After a few seconds, a message pops up in chat saying that the player was punished and the punishment plugin you installed, such as Advanced Ban, will return a message as well. The player was muted by console and the reason they were was the one that we supplied in our command. There was also a notification on the recipient side dished out by our punishment plugin. Let's go ahead and run slash phistory vicky. Every punishment that was issued to this player will then appear in chat. The last command slash punish reload or slash p reload, which is used to reload the plugin settings from the config files. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The language folder contains one file, language.yml. This contains localization for the plugin and allows you to customize how it talks back to players in chat. The reasons folder contains reasons.yml. This file has a list of every punishment on the server and the commands that it runs when a player is punished. Let's scroll down to the advertisement punishment section, as this is what we ran in game earlier. Line 128. We can change the weights of mild, medium, and severe. These weights correspond to the auto commands listed below. Every time a punishment is issued on the player, the weight has one added to it. So the first mild punishment has a weight of one, so the first command is issued. The second also uses the first command as it's based off of the minimum weight set at the weight milestone option. The weight milestone for the second punishment command is three. So if we punish a player a third time, they'll then have this command run instead of the first. Currently, this is set to a permanent ban. Of course, every punishment plugin is different, and for temp mute to be issued, for example, I needed to change the command here from mute to temp mute. You may need to do this with other commands on this page as well to work with your punishment plugin. Let's go ahead and test our theory. Looking back at our game, let's punish the other player another two times. They should then leave the server and receive a ban message. And there we have it, it does. Exempt.yml contains a list of exempt players' UUIDs. Players on this list can't be targeted by this plugin, and by default, the only whitelisted player here is the creator of this plugin. Config.yml contains the rest of the settings for the plugin. Those are only really the name of the server for the SQL database, amount of time before a player is forgiven and the extra waiting goes back to the default of zero, and the number of punishments in the history command. The MySQL section contains the connection settings for your MySQL database. 
with Server Pro, we provide you with one on our Pro plans. If you're not using Server Pro, ensure that you have a database and that it's online and running. On the MySQL tab, you can click Enable and then get details from right below after the next server restart. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!